uh, hi everyone welcome to this session uh, so let's solve this very interesting uh, interview questions uh, so we can see the, the, there is a like rc based circuit here and there is two pre-charge capacitance capacitor like this uh, the value of the capacitors are c and 2c and they are charged in this fashion okay and after pre-charging uh, we made a circuit like this with two switches and with a resistance like in this fashion so our problem is to solve what will be the waveform of vx and what will be the waveform of v out okay at this node so we are not going to do any too much large mathematics complex mathematics we will do try we will try some we will try to solve by some intuition and some basic basic knowledge of the rc charging and discharging okay okay so now uh, so this switch both of the switch is ideal switches are ideal that means r on will be zero zero ohm okay and r off is infinity so this is the ideal ideal switches now so first of all how we can go for the solution so let's talk about so many people don't uh, like use these things but like like uh, I have to do this because this is important. So what is up happening at t equals minus infinity and less than zero? Okay, so this is actually very important. So while you are not connecting the switch anymore, okay, they are open, right? So what will be the equivalent picture? So it will be like this. It will be like this, and it will be like this, right? This is R. This is C. This is V out this is vx right and this is to see eventually yeah so now can we can we predict what will be the v out and vx at the time duration at this time yeah we can predict right so your v out will be nothing but because there is no current no charging and discharging is happening uh, like anything is happening no current is flowing through the whole circuit so the capacitor cannot the voltage across it right so it will be holding its previous condition so uh, if this is a ground and so this was 5 volt initially so this voltage must be 5 volts okay yeah so that is for sure now what about vx so this is the tricky part okay the voltage across these two capacitor was 1 volt initially now what do you think what will be the vx at this time duration so it is undefined okay undefined so the voltage this voltage minus this voltage is defined that is that is 1 volt but we cannot exactly say what is the voltage at this node vx with respect to ground okay so this is the tricky part okay so this voltage can be 2 volt this can volt voltage can be 3 volt that is defined that is on volt that is okay but we cannot exactly say what is the vx value absolute voltage okay and let's say this can be minus 2 and this can be how much this can be minus 1 right so it can be anything but we don't know the exact value of the vx okay so that is undefined okay yeah now what is happening after t equals 0 plus so at t equals 0 plus this switch are closed and the circuit will behave like this now what do you think is there any charging or discharging will happen yes it will happen right but the thing is this 2c capacitor is actually making no closed loop right so ultimately the current cannot flow through this capacitor so what will happen so there will be no discharging and charging for this 2c capacitor okay so again it will try to maintain not will try to it will hold its previous condition of on volt okay so this is for sure so the vx will be nothing but this v out plus on that's it okay so that it will remain on volt across it now the thing is we have to find what is what is doing this c capacitor actually when it is connecting like this actually this is a closed path so some current will be for sure flowing through this path okay and the direction will be like this so so what what the cap capacitor c is doing here so actually it has no charging path anymore right it cannot have any other source to charge this capacitor so actually this capacitor actually discharging right through this resistance so ultimately this node voltage will go to zero volt discharging and discharging and discharging ultimately it will go to the zero volt okay now at t equals zero plus what is actually happening let's find it 
so is there any impulsive current there no right because this current is so actually at t equal 0 plus there is a imp like very high frequency so your cap is like a short circuited okay so short circuited means so short circuited means there is not zero current because it was a previously five volt charge right it was charged at five volt so ultimately if you draw the equivalent picture at t equal 0 plus it will be looking like this so your capacitor can be sorted this is the capacitor that is sorted i'm i'm drawing again so this is a capacitor is sorted but there was the initial condition of five volt so the overall capacitance will be equivalently a five volt source okay so now this much current will be flowing so this is a finite current and the current i this is a, our i so i will be five over r that's it now let's say your r is on ohm c is on farad and then eventually 2c will be 2 farad that's it so you if r is 1 so this is 1 so the current 5 ampere will be flowing at t equals 0 plus instantly okay right yeah and what do you think what will be the voltage at this node then so the this this capacitor voltage cannot be changed instantly because there is a finite current so it will try to maintain 5 volt here so when it is try to like it is trying to maintain 5 volt here so this voltage goes to 6 volt instantly this voltage can go to instantly right because the voltage cannot be changed so that is the thing your vx will go instantly to the 6 volt and it will remain after like for t equals infinity time and this voltage will have 5 volt at t equals 0 plus like minus t equals infinity to equals 0 plus then it will start to discharging discharging through the resistance and eventually this node v out goes to 0 okay so this is the thing so how it will go to 0 so this is a first order circuit so why it is first order circuit so so ultimately the circuit actually running by this time constant only right so this 2c is putting no effect on the circuit charging discharging it is it is not doing anything okay it is that a floating thing and we can think just a floating so what is the time constant so we have we have to find time constant as r equivalent times c equivalent it is it will be rc and the according to our value it will be five, uh, one second right yeah so this is the first order circuit so the response will be for sure exponential right we know that so nature of the discharging will be exponential right and you know the exponential discharging equation vc of t is nothing but vc of the initial condition into e power minus e over tau okay so this is the thing this is the initial okay so initially for this case is 5 volt okay okay now we have to draw the waveform of vx v out and let's say i okay so let's do it so let's say this is vx versus t this is v out versus t and this is i versus t or let's make it okay let let it be i okay yeah and the direction of the i is like this okay so previously at t was minus infinity to uh, zero we don't we cannot predict the v out exactly so we are not writing anything at this time but ultimately when the t was zero plus is happening the vx will goes from some voltage to it will goes to six volt for sure okay it will be 6 volt and it will remain for the rest of the time like for the plus infinity time okay now what will you view out so v out from minus infinity to 0 it was 5 volts so it will be 0 comma 0 your origin yeah then it will discharge like exponentially okay now what will your current so current was 0 then the, there will be jump current and th that is defined current that is nothing but your 5 amps according to our values and then eventually it goes to zero when the capacitor fully discharged so now the interviewer can ask you how much time it will take to fully discharge so you know it will take five tau so it will be five second right you know to fully discharge it will take almost five tau okay and then this time is five second as well now interviewer can ask you anything okay interviewer can ask you like uh, let's say what can be the time that the v output is reaching 3 volt so you, you have to find this time and they can also 
make uh, like they can also ask you that find the current at t equals 2 second okay so let's say this is 2 second so you have to find that current and you can do the mathematics okay so this type of question can be asked as well okay or anything i have to tell oh, just just wait for a moment uh, yeah that's it that's that's how we can actually solve this type of circuits yeah so now the now, now the doubt can come in this uh, v out plot okay v out plot Now, is this correct? Not right because your your V two C will be on volt. Okay, so V C T is nothing but V X minus V out. So now, if this V out is decreasing, your V X must be decreasing order. Okay, and ultimately settle to fire. Settle to one volt, right? Like like. Like the Vx will be settled to 1 volt because this node is going to be grounded, right? This node is going to be 0 volt, okay? So this node volt will discharge with the uh, same uh, same nature of this V out uh, is decreasing, okay? It will be exponential as well, okay? So ultimately, this voltage always will be 1 volt, but as this V out is going from 5 to 0 volt, so it will be following, the Vx will be following this V output nature, okay? So it is not correct, okay? It is not correct. So, your output will be from, yeah, it will be 6 to 1 volt like this, okay. So, let's say this is your 5 tau and this will be your 1 volt and this will be 6 volt, yeah. So, this is actually correct waveform, okay. And we cannot uh, plot the exact waveform of the Vx with respect to ground at t equals minus minus to 0, okay. So, this is actually correct waveform, okay. The previous analysis, what I have, I think just made a mistake, small mistake there. Uh, where I made this mistake, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So instantly it will go to the six volt, but it will not settle six volt because your V out node is actually decreasing. So your V X will follow the V out. Okay, yeah, that is the correct way. Yeah, so it, it is actually very, very interesting. Yeah, thank you. And okay, so I am solving this type of question instantly. So yeah, I can make some mistake, but you have to do the intuitive lessons, uh, intuitive analysis, how you can solve. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And I actually never edited the videos as well. Okay. Actually, I don't get enough time to prepare for that so nicely and edit those things. Okay. Yeah. So please forgive me. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you your patient for your, yeah.